motivational needs have changed for the 21st century student. The fast and ever-evolving world of technology has actually caused a change in how youth today think, learn, and react to the world. In order to stop the whining words, I'm bored, the classroom environment has to change. What is it that's the most fun that makes you want to do it more than anything else? Or piano, computer. If you could do one thing all day in class, what would it be? Um, I would draw on the board. What would be your second choice? I would play on the computer. I like best of our class because that, um, we have fun in class. We help each other in math or whatever we need help. Creativity and collaboration in conjunction with 21st century media and technology must be incorporated not only to motivate students, but also to prepare them for the career needs in their futures. investigate the relationship between motivation and technology. I incorporated lessons enhanced with a variety of media through the internet, games, pre-made and classroom created film and music. Internet studies included Nimble Fingers, ePals, Brain Pop, Class Zone, Online Gaming with Adventure Quest, Multiplication.com, Fun Brain, and Music through vocabulary.com. Film was used to scaffold content, reinforce learning, and create multiple contexts for understanding particularly for history and science. And as a part of producing a classroom environment that encouraged multiple intelligences. Music was used in a variety of ways. Jingles were signals to prepare papers, go to or return from groups, and finish silent reading. Everybody should be in their group by the time the music is over. Songs with content-related lyrics help students review, retain, and practice skills. Overall, the results were obvious. Students showed clear enthusiasm. Their scores increased, with one student showing two years of growth in reading after the first semester. They wrote more using ePals, and when required to do a writing assignment there, the editing and grading was easier for me, the teacher. Some significant observations were that students were the most engaged when expectations were clear and the project allowed collaboration. Collaboration is noisy sometimes and, as an educator, I had to adjust to being a guide to ensure understanding as well as whether they were on task. Certain tasks rarely required correction due to their unmistakable intrinsic motivation. However, I became aware that with unstructured free choice activities, shorter time limits were more efficient for students to explore but not get off course. A few of the more positive surprises were that students started coming to class early to work on ePals, play Adventure Quest, or other online educational games. They voiced the desire to be in the classroom rather than at lunch or hanging around outside between classes. They let me know when they looked up a subject at home, a website or online games I'd introduced, or watched my videos on Viddler or YouTube. They began to be student leaders and maturely ran the class with order, collaboration and encouragement, even though they might not have been aware that they were in charge. Okay, oh, you know, a period. A period. Oh, yeah, a period. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so the, 
By far the most fun, motivating, and successful lesson was the use of beats and poetry writing raps. Their final presentation was filmed and posted on YouTube. Throughout the year, as I studied in the Education, Media, Design, and Technology program, I shared each class with my students. While taking media literacy and research methodologies, I let my students know that I was still learning and that writing with certain structures, like the APA format, was important. During multiple learning theory, I became more cognizant of the diversity in my classroom. Although I had studied multiple intelligences during my teaching credential program, this course took my basic knowledge to the next level. I found myself to be more patient, both with my students as well as myself. Problems often occur when teachers try to make students conform to their own image. Multiple learning theory shows the importance of recognizing the value of learning diversities. Education, Design and Evaluation presented an intense collaborative group project that resulted in a Ning site about prefixes, suffixes and roots. One of the videos that I made for the project has over 9,000 hits on YouTube and over 13,000 hits on TeacherTube. Emergent technologies and a collaborative culture introduced the amazing power of Web 2.0 resources. Digital media and education applications, a crash course in flash design, resulted in a silly site I called How to Teach a Cat to Kiss, which was inspired by my cat, Buddy. Musical theory and education applications allowed me to express my latent musical talents. I became a rap star and recorded a rap about writing for my class. It may not go viral, but I plan on using this and creating more music personalized for my future students. Filmmaking principles and education was my favorite class. It was fascinating to analyze visual storytelling, the use of angles, shadows, and light to present meaning, emotion, suspense, and so much more. Never will I see a film in the same way, and I plan to not only make more videos, but use the power of digital storytelling to inspire my students much as I have been inspired. Game strategies and motivation. The draw of games became clearer. Games use proven principles of the steps in the learning process. They are motivational in that players work through levels, through trial and error, sometimes with hints and often with little or no instruction. Gaming's power in the classroom has been largely untapped, and I look forward to learning effective ways to use their potential. I am inspired to continue evaluating research and methodologies that I have learned about media and technology in the classroom in the coming years. Participating in action research continually is a goal because it is about effectively using tools and sharing winning strategies with others. As I have learned at Full Sail University, sharing, collaboration, and growth are a winning combination.